Hello viewer. <clears throat> I'm just sort of halfway through a little bit of a project and I thought why aren't I videoing this? So I thought oh, I'll video of this and here I am. So what I've got here is I know in one of my earlier videos where I've stripped out some batteries is one of the batteries. This is a little charger and um, voltage circuit that um, I purchased. I mean, these things are like a buck or two. Those things are like a dollar ninety-five. Pretty cheap. Um, 3D printed the housing, and the idea is is that I'll have normally have terminals in here that the battery will plug into. It will charge up when it hits the high end of the voltage. It'll uh, click into charged. Um, and turn off the charger um, and yeah they, they work quite nicely um, so I'm just using that at the moment so I've got my battery charged and what I've done here is if we can focus in on that is I've soldered a little bit of a copper weight onto this brass cog on this motor. Um, this motor was from a, a helicopter, you know, just a toy helicopter. Um, clearly not a real one, it's a bit small. And that ran on about 4 volt. Um, this is putting out 3.7. Um, so I thought, yeah, so it spins at a fair rate, and with the weight on that cog, makes it vibrate. What I have here is a film roll, sorry, I should say a film roll container, with some white vinegar and some rusty screws. And... My thought was, is normally I sit there shaky, shaky, shaky by hand. But I thought, well, watching a, another YouTuber that uses an ultrasonic cleaner, I was thinking, well, oh, sounds to me like that ultrasonic cleaner has just, just got some vibrating motors in it. And I thought, I wonder what would happen... if I did something similar so that's when I started to get the soldering iron out and have a shot so let's see what this does Try that again. <laughs> so seems to be oh actually I've got to say for a couple of quick bursts it's actually uh it's actually done something there. It's chewed out the plastic a little bit. Ah it's gone on its side here. Actually, I know what I'll do here. Let's cut those out. Crank up the uh, hot glue gun. So I use a Ryobi 18 volt hot glue gun. I find this uh, this old girl really handy. Um, most of my stuff is the Ryobi 18 volt. Uh, I haven't moved into the 36 volt yet, and. I just find uh, having all the different tool options that they have is um, quite good. So, excuse the rummaging, I'm just going to grab some tape and I'm looking for the finer, finer cable ties. There we go. So, black cable ties. Cheap clear tape and okay, so let's 
I have no expectation that the cable ties, uh, sorry, that the hot glue is actually going to provide a great bond. But what it does do is it makes a bit of a cradle. Um, and then my thinking is a bit of a tape to provide a bit of compression. And then I'll use the cable ties. So let's see how that goes. First, first cable tie attempt. It's so dismal. Okay. So you're not looking at anything smooth and polished here. Oops, sorry. Actually, not even look at anything because I'm showing it off camera. Sorry about that. All right, so I've done the hot gluing. So at this point, I don't know what I had on camera and what I didn't have on camera. I do apologize for that. Okay. Either I'm cooking the motor or the battery's draining down. I don't know if you can see that, but um, that is doing some quite serious, quite serious. Oh, wow, look at that. Makes a hell of a racket, but it's definitely working. I'll be clear, I mean, these these um, nuts and bolts in here have been through um, a couple of, you know, two or three manual uh, handshakings of um, cleaning. Sort of Gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with um, with that. So let's make a mess. Whoa. Okay. They went in a lot dirtier than what they come out. I can assure you. That is some impressive cleaning. Okay, so one of these, one of these nuts was actually really rusted. Okay, I'm impressed. I've impressed myself. <laughs> so there you have it, a quick nine minute plus sample uh, ultrasonic type of cleaner. Well, I think I'll scale that up. Proof of concept passed. Thank you for watching.